So you're going to want to come to the Valley of Despair. In this location right here, you will find the Rat King and the Rat King's son. So this is his second prince. We are going to want to fight the first prince. And to do that, you're going to follow me in this location here. So there is two ways. If you defeat the Rat King first, he will then give you a piece of meat that you have to use to summon him down. But if you defeat his son first, it will enter a cutscene here and the Rat King's son will then try and fight you. Here is a big guy. So what you want him to do is to destroy this wall. But let's say, for example, you have not done this and you skip past it. What you want to do then is have the Wandering White equipped and you want to try and summon him and he can then crack the wall that way for you. If not, you can try and use this one as well. So you can get this a bit later on in the game. But this will be like a heavy attack that you, that can destroy this wall, essentially. And you'll be able to utilize that. There's a few different other spirits that you can use to do this. But this is the best way, as of right now, that I know of. So, as you have gone inside, you should have collected this right here. The long scales. You're going to need this to progress further. So, make sure that you pick these up. So, you're then going to come to Rock Rest Flat. And there is also another use for them scales as well. If you guys haven't, check out how to get the secret dragon staff on my channel. I'll be able to show you how to utilize them. We're going to follow me up in this pathway here, as you can see. There, this enemy right here, if you defeat him, you'll be able to put him in your inventory as a spirit. But let's try and skip past him. And we're going to open this sand waterfall here. So now let's head on inside. So once we get inside, you will see Black Long. And he is a deadly, deadly boss. So at this moment, he decides he's going to become a drummer boy and fulfill that career that never was. So you've got to find the nearest rock. There is a few scattered about, but you've got to be careful he doesn't destroy them. So you're going to try and keep him at a certain path. And this will help you massively. So this is definitely something you want to try and capitalize on. And as you can see here, he's pretty simple once you learn his moves. So if you do try and keep him in one certain area, as you can see here, I've still got two more pillars. So if he was here to come to destroy this part here, I would still have that one over there. So I've tried to keep him in that area. That way I have some rocks left to jump onto. But if you guys don't, what I suggest is just restarting and just trying again because you're not going to get past that. You can jump past it, but that, that last bang there can do a massive amount of damage. So definitely make sure that you try and balance it out and just be wary of his attacks. Like I said, he, he's annoying. He really, really is annoying. And just like that, he's defeated so as soon as you have defeated him you would then get the rewards you'll also get a mind core and you'll also get two refined iron sand and a long pearl material and you're going to follow me up here as well and we'll be able to get this reward also so let's open this big beautiful chest and what have we got inside we've got a thunder bone you can use this towards the dragon bone staff and you also get a pendant let's take a look at the pendant and see what we get inside the pendant if it's something usable so let's go over here so this slightly reduces cooldown off all spells so this could be really really good if you've got high mana and you are looking to trigger all of these different spells together you could use this and this could be a good build for you so if this guide has helped you please make sure you smash that like button you subscribe and hit that notification bell hopefully i'll see you in the next one peace